It really does feel like in this debate, for the best part of a year or two, we've been saying a new record has been set, and we're saying it again, aren't we, Mark? Yeah, good morning, both. Uh, it was really just a week ago I was talking about the being 18,000 who have now crossed. Well, in just seven days, we are now up at 20,000. In fact, more than that, because uh, on Sunday, 280-odd have crossed. And again, today, our camp producer is telling us that more have come across. In the early hours, you see, this is a Dover lifeboat coming into Dover Harbour with 50 people on board. Uh, and that was followed by vessels at first light this morning, coming across. So we are, without a doubt, heading towards at least double the number by the end of this year who cross compared to last year. Mm, yeah, and I think it's interesting, this figure I found this morning, 15,000 have come since the Rwanda policy was introduced. I mean, it, it, that is a massive indication that the, the very existence of the policy has certainly not deterred people from coming. Um, what will the government now be looking to do? Will they be looking to move the Rwanda policy forward quicker? Well, interestingly, both of the candidates, uh, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss, are both wedded to the Rwanda policy. In fact, they say that they would extend that. They're looking for other countries that may want to receive asylum seekers for processing as well. But they need to get beyond what is uh, a legal issue around the challenges that we see uh, using European human rights legislation under the uh, ECHR. Now, both candidates have said they would look at the possibility of pu pulling out of the European Convention on Human Rights if they can't get it to work. Um, but they've not said they will do that. Um, and they say that they want to push through this British Bill of Rights that would enable the UK courts to take a narrower definition of what a refugee is. But while you're in the ECHR, that particular treaty takes precedence. So uh, at the end of the day, you can still and you will be able to challenge it. So we'll see what happens going forward. But for the moment, at least, both candidates saying they're not yet ready to pull out of the ECHR. I mean, 20,000 is an enormous number. Do we have any idea where these people are going when they get into the country? Well, I mean, the, where they're going is into hotels, the vast majority of them. About two and a half months ago, we did a, a report, uh, extrapolated uh, some of the latest figures, which showed us that 30,000 hotel rooms are being block booked by the Home Office every single day. Now, since we did that report, Alex, another 10,000 uh, people have crossed the channel. And a good proportion of those will be in hotel accommodation. There's hardly a town in the UK which isn't now seeing one or more hotels in their towns being co-opted for use by the Home Office to house these migrants.